Good morning. Uh, I'm going to read where Jesus is praying to be glorified. In John 17, it says, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might that he might give eternal life to those who who you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. <clears throat> Love that. <clears throat> that eternal life is knowing God and knowing Jesus Christ whom he had sent. And I wanted to tie that in with thirst <clears throat> of how we have, before we know Christ, this is, I take my own life into this, is that I have this, in our, our soul is meant to be in Christ, right? It's meant to know him. It's meant to experience him fully, right? So we have this, thirst in us our soul has thirst and until we know him it's going to be thirsty so what we do is we end up going to these different things in order to quench that thirst that never can whether that is you know a relationship whether that's a betterment of self whether that is uh, power wh whatever it is in our life that we're searching for to fill that thirst within that only God can but when we come to him, he talks about that in being the living water to quench the thirst that we have to the woman at the well, the good Samaritan woman, the Samaritan woman, that she's been thirsting her whole life. So she searched man after man after man. She had five husbands and the man that she was living with um, wasn't her husband, but it, he was. they were not fulfilling that thirst within. Only when we come back to the love of God can that thirst be quenched? There's beauty in that. So there's a guy, John Piper, that talks about Christian hedonism, that we get our greatest joy in being his, right? That's what God's about. He's not about stripping us away, stripping things away from us, right? Just because, you know, about behavior, you need to behave in a certain way. No, he's trying to lead us into the greatest amount of joy as his children. He's not trying to, to strip away our freedom. He's trying to lead us into freedom. That we settle for something less when we are going to something other than Him. But we have free will to choose whether we want to be His and want to be satisfied within Him or do we want to keep going to these dry wells that will never satisfy the thirst that we have until we come back home to Him. So today, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, it's windy, but God loves you and desires for you to come home and drink from Him. God bless you all.